everyone, another Pilates workout using the small ball, any type of small ball, a little squishy, even the small ball of a child, bender ball, yoga ball, anything will do. Take it up and over as you're warming up. Small ball, I use a lot in Pilates. It's one of my students' favorite tools, and it's one of my favorite tools to use in Pilates. Now keep the ball in this hand as you go back down and around. Today, these moves are different than anything that I filmed before. So they're different than the other workouts that use the small ball, giving you a lot more variety with the ball. Now bring the ball to the chest, place the ball into the middle of the legs and increase the press of the adductors, the inner thighs. Lift back up, sit back down, reach the arms forward and swing down. Lifting up with a little more flow, come down, reach deep into the hips and lift up. Come down, sit back, reach deep into the hips, lift up. This time come down, sit deep into the hips, hold. Take the arms right next to the ears and little presses back with the hips. Continue to activate those inner thighs. Take the arms out to the side, hold. Take the arms into a bent elbow position. Now lift the arms and the body up and pull back in. And lift up, pull in, and lift up. As you stay low here, activate the knee squeezes inward, 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 in four. Bring the hands to the heart, rotate to the right. Come back to center, rotate to the left, come back to center. Reach the arms out to the side. Reach the arms behind you. Lift the heels and lower down. Warm the feet, keep the chest open, keep the energy through the hands and through the back hips. Again, roll through the feet. And one more time, roll through the feet. Now bring the hands into the heart. Really squeeze actively in the ball, which will also activate the pelvis. Shift into your left leg with your right heel elevated. Now pick that right foot off the floor and squeeze into the ball. Bring the foot back down, shift over to the right foot, lifting the left heel and lift it off the floor. Shift down, shift weight, lift heel, lift foot and engage, hold, stabilize, foot down, shift weight and lift back up. Good. Take it back out, arms open, up, push down through the back, and come up just a little. Push down through the back of the hips, come up just a little, down, and up. This time, stay as low as you can, little pulses. Squeeze the knees, four, three, two, one, all the way up. Bring the ball into your right hand, Lift the left arm up, right foot to the side, elbow into knee, lift up. Now I'm trying to stabilize that left side. So I'm reaching high with the left arm, long with the left leg, and bringing the knee into the elbow. Increase the flow or the speed, pull, pull. You should feel this in your whole body as you're stabilizing balance and then moving into that oblique muscle. One more. Now put both hands to the ball, side tilt. Center, do that again. Giving you options here to lift the knee, but my knee is rotated towards the front. Pull, so I'm leaning from the side of my hip. This could also be a straight leg. So you can do it with the toe down, the knee elevated, or the straight leg. One more time. Good. Bring the ball to chest, center your feet, take the left leg out to the side, arms up with the ball in the left hand. Take the elbow to the left knee. Pull, pull. Good, continue with that speed with a big reach with the right arm high. So the whole side of the body on the right side is long. Perfect balance. Two more. One more time, 
Put both hands to the ball, side tilt to the left side, no leg yet. So we want to get that body to recognize the move. Now you can add a knee if you would like, and the knee faces forward. Use the muscles in your right foot to really stabilize from the foot all the way up into the hip. Now this can also be a leg lift. Use the side of the hip to pull and the whole torso. Let's do a few more. Pull. One more time. Pull. Good. Bring the feet together. Turn sideways. Plant one foot down and bring the ball in front of you. Pull the knee into the chest. Extend back. Pull in. Extend back. Pull in. Extend back. Pull in and extend. Now bring the ball into the chest, hold. Take the foot down, reach up, turn that back foot outward. So you're coming into a warrior position that we use in our yoga. Reposition your feet so the front knee's pushing forward. Take the ball in your front hand and open into warrior two. Feel that front leg pushing forward and deepen into your lunge warrior position. Transfer the ball into the up hand and back behind you. Lift up. So that's one of the differences between the Pilates and yoga. Yoga would hold for a while. Pilates holds stable and then adds motion, fluid motion. One more. Hold it in the front hand, circle under, elbow to knee. Circle up, place the hand on the back leg, lift. Find the flow. Get deeper into the legs as you find the muscle work in the legs as you move and rotate through the torso. On the back arm on this one, it can slide behind your back to give you a little more range of motion. And breathe. Take it one more time. And lift. Hold. Good. Turn towards your front leg. Place the ball in the opposite hand as the leg that's in front, touch the floor. From here, pull the back knee in, extend. So this is a variation of the move you did earlier. Pull, make sure you've got a little airway open. Good. Now step back, lift up, bring the ball into your chest, transition to the other side. So, Plant the foot, use the other leg. Take the other leg back and reach forward. With that back knee coming into the chest, pull, extend. Pull, extend, pull, extend. Take this one more time. Pull, extend, hold. Shift the back leg down, turn the foot, settle into the front leg. Take the ball into the front leg and open into your warrior two. Reposition that heel and really push the shin bone forward. Now transfer the ball. So legs aren't moving. In Pilates, there's always something stabilizing while something is in motion. Hold here. Drop that front elbow down into the leg. Bring the other arm over the head. Transition. Hand to the back leg and lift. Drop and lift. Keep that front knee, shin bone to forward position. Deepen into the leg muscle. You can take your back hand behind the low back. Gives you a little more range of motion. Take it down and lift. One more time, take it down. One more time, take it up. Transition the ball into the opposite hand of the leg that's in front and place it against the floor. Shift your weight forward and take that back knee into the chest. Again, stabilizers are the back leg, the pelvis, the torso. Take it one more time, pull in, kick back, bring the leg down and rise up. Taking the rest of the workout down onto the mat. 
So as you take your mat and position yourself onto it, lie down flat. Take the ball over your head. Now bring the ball forward, lift your head, shoulders, and keep your feet down. Just come up about halfway and roll back down. So a half roll up, bringing it forward. Lift, smooth. Keep the feet anchored on the floor. Okay, let's take the full roll up. Bring the arms forward, the head, engage, lift up. Take it again. I'm going to start to add a little more motion, more flow, a little more speed. On the next one, as you come up, lift your right knee up into your chest. Extend the leg forward and come down. On the next one, bring the left knee up into the chest. Option for the next one, both knees or do one knee at a time again. Take it again, so smooth in your movements with so much control and concentration and centering. This time as you come up, the right leg straight up. Now the option would be to do another bend knee. Alternate to the left leg. Option both legs together or one leg at a time or even the bent knee position. One more time, pull forward, lift up, come back down and hold. Good, place the legs now up above you and place the ball between the two legs and squeeze activating inner thighs. Open the arms out to the side and anchor the shoulders. Now the legs can be straight, bent or somewhere in between. Pendulum the legs to one side, lift up to the top, pendulum to the other side. Lift up, pendulum again, and lift. Feel the bottom leg push upward into the ball. Push the bottom leg up into the ball. Good, two more times. Anchor the shoulder down, other side. Bring it back to middle. Place the hands underneath the hips, or you can keep them out to the side. This is more advanced. This gives the back a little more support. Circle the legs, squeezing actively with the ball. So if you don't have your hands behind the hips, you have to really focus on keeping the pelvis stable. Reverse the circle direction. This is a move that should progress as you get stronger, increasing the range of motion and the size of the circle. One more. Bring the knees into the chest. Extend the legs down long straight. Take the ball over the head. Take the circles with the torso one direction. Up. Take it again. Circle up over the legs. Keep the heels down. So the legs are stable. Torso's moving. After this one, reverse the direction. Circle. Circle again. Two more. One more. Bring the ball over the head, bring the ball forward and roll yourself up smoothly. As you come up to seated, reposition on the mat with your knees bent and place the ball between the two legs, activating those inner thighs. As you squeeze, reach forward, tailbone under, seat her, pull one elbow back. Come back to center, squeeze active. So the key here is to get the legs to pull into the ball, which gives a lot more abdominal work. Add speed to this, so as you pull one elbow, then the other. Squeeze actively with the ball between the legs. Breathing, centering, details with every move. Bring both arms forward, squeeze the ball, lift the toes. Touch your toes to the floor, lift back up. Touch the toes to the floor. Lift back up. Touch the toes. Lift up, put your hands together. Slice down one side of the hip to the other side. 
hold center, put your hands interlocked and twist, 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 twist. Keep actively squeezing. Come back to middle, take hold of your legs and pull your body up. That releases the back for a second. We will be rolling back onto our back. Make sure you have enough room to roll. I'm gonna scoop forward. Place your elbows now on the top of your knees. Roll back and as you come up, put your elbows back into your knees and engage the core. Roll back, come up, place the elbows right into the knees and hold. Two more, roll back, come up, one more time. Hold here. Reach the arms forward. Now squeeze. In, 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 four, three, two, and one. Release down. Take the ball from the legs. Come into a small straddle position. Not a real wide one. About the width of my mat. Take the arms up with the ball and use your back muscles. So feel the spine line up right to the top of the head, anchor your feet. These knees can be bent, depends on your flexibility. Open to a twist, come up to the middle. Open to the twist. You might even notice your hips shift the leg length a little bit, and that's okay. Reach from one arm to the opposite in opposition. Take that again. Now to the opposite leg, the ball reaches across to the foot, come back up. Reach across to the foot, come back up. The other hand comes behind me, so I'm getting a really nice diagonal line there. Both hands to ball, twist three times to one direction. Then center and lift up tall, three twists. Center and lift, twist, again working muscles through the back and the stretch of the legs. Come back to center, big torso circle from one side. As you come to the top, reverse the direction. Circle. Pick up the energy. Pick up the flow and do two more. One more time. Bring the ball to the chest. Take the legs together as straight as you can make your legs depending on your flexibility. So if you struggle with that, keep your knees bent so your back can be straight. But if you have the flexibility, try to go completely straight with your legs. Reach the ball to your feet and release. Now the difference between the curve in the back to the straight back reaches the ball higher. Hold there. Reach the ball over the top of your head. Keep everything nice and straight. Bring the ball to your chest, lean back, but don't see curve the spine. And then sit straight up, keep the heels anchored. Flow through those moves as you reach forward, straight back, lift up high. To the chest, lean back to the back of the head, come up. Reach forward, straight. Up, lean back. And use those abdominals right here. Pull yourself up two more times, reach forward. Straight back, lift here, straight back. Lean back with the straight back and center up one more time, reach forward. Lift up, lean back, come back up to middle. Hold right there, good. Relax your feet and your legs and then place the ball in the middle back. Now I have filmed this exercise before but it's one of my favorites. There's nothing like it for abdominals. Not low back, middle back. Carefully lower yourself down onto the ball. You'll feel pretty low and keep your chin just right over sternum, reach forward. One arm at a time, pulls into a twist, do the same arm again. Do that again, same side faster. Pull, 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 one more. Slow down other side, open towards the elbow. One more slow. Now when we pick up speed, don't lose the smoothness of the move, just tighten it up. Pull. Takes a little more control. One more. Open both elbows at the same time. Feel the pressure in the ball. Keep the chin over the sternum. Pressure into the ball. Now take it back, hold. Take one foot at a time, lift up, up. Down, down, sit up. Now if you're struggling to lift the feet, do it again, but take the opposite leg first. The ball could be in a wrong place for you. 
lift up. If it's too high or too low, you'll struggle to lift the feet. Now that's a really good deep abdominal wall exercise. Lift. One more time. Other leg comes up first. Sit up. This time come down, hold both legs at the same time. Bring the feet down, sit back up. Open it, lift, down, sit up. Little change, push back, both feet up. Stay there with some flutters. Chin over sternum, hold, kick up. Open the elbows, bend the knees. Don't touch the floor unless you absolutely have to. This is your teaser move with the ball supporting you. One more, big push all the way up. Good, take hold of your legs, rock yourself up to seated. Transition the ball into the low back. Now, if you've done some of my other low or small ball uh, workouts, you'll see some familiar and also some new on this one. Anchor into the low back, so you're a little higher than you were before. Let's take that bow and arrow that we did earlier when the ball was between the legs. Elbow pulls back. A little faster. Pull. Pull. Now, without stopping in the middle, one side then the other. So pull. So you're going to push back into the ball without coming up in between. Keep pulling and shifting the rib cage. Four more. Stay in the ball and figure eight the arm, circle. Figure eight, circle. So you're shifting into one side of the abdominals and then the other. Last one, come back to center, lift off. Lean back into the ball with your low back. Take one hand higher, take the other arm, reach forward, bring it forward and sit up. Lean back. Take the other arm up. Notice I'm pushing the other arm forward. Little change. Take one arm up, push the other arm forward, stay there, bring the arm forward. The arm reaching forward is almost more important than one reaching back. It shifts the rib cage. One more time. Take both arms high, bring both arms forward, sit up, off, and then push back down. Take both arms up, both arms forward. This is super intense in that abdominal wall. This time as you pull back, bend the elbows, lift, circle over the head. Find the flow. Take it again, pull. One more. Reverse lifting up, circle in. Lift up, circle in. Lift up, pull in. One more time. Good. Now twist to one direction with the outside arm up. Now pull back, twist. You may have seen this if you've done a workout with me before with the small ball. This is a shorter version of this. Pretty intense. Take the arm that's across, pull the elbow back, drop the high arm, push across. So you drop the top arm, pull the elbow back and rotate. Two more, pull, lift, one more, and lift. Bring yourself up off the ball center, pull back into the ball, rotate to the other direction, taking the outside arm high and the other arm across. Pull back, lift up, and twist. That arm that's across the chest, when you twist, pull, exaggerate it. Make sure you get the details of the arms, they make a big difference here. Now pull the elbow back, drop the arm down, reach it up across. Arm shift down, pull, reach up and across. Shift back, reach across. One more time. And lift. Good, come back to center. Take the ball into your hands, reach up. Lengthen your legs. Shift your uh, position so you can roll all the way down and bring the ball forward. Anchor the feet, roll all the way down to your back. Bring the legs into a tabletop position and place the ball between the two legs. When you're in tabletop, line the knees up with your hip bone. Activate the inner thighs, toes slightly forward, hands at your side. 
Toes to the floor. This is a great low tummy. So visualize right across the hip bones. Take it again, press. So if you haven't done the other small ball workouts, try them. There's a lot of variety. And the small ball is a really great tool to force you to work correctly. Stay up in tabletop, hands behind head, elevate chest, lower chest. Again, careful here on the chin, not to drop it too low, but a little bit of space under the chin so the neck stays long. On the next one, take the torso up, hold, squeeze the ball, take the toes to the floor. Lift the toes back up, shoulders come down. Shoulders up, toes to floor, toes come up, shoulders down. Two more times, shoulders, engage, toes, lift, and lower. One more time, engage, lift up, take the toes to floor, lift back up and hold right there. Now with the legs at tabletop, cross one elbow, open, take it to the other side, cross without so much of a pause, up, up. Now notice I'm rolling the ball between the legs. So I'm pulling my knee a little closer. You're gonna to start to see a lot of the series of five moves in variation now. Hold center, release the head. Place the ball in the hands, over the top of the legs and elevate the shoulders. In one hand, taking it over the chest, uh, head, come down over the legs, up, so here's our double leg stretch from our Pilates. Up. As you take this last one, keep the ball in that hand and reverse the circle direction. Lengthen, pull, double leg stretch. Two more right here. Open, one more, open. Bring the head and shoulders down. Place the ball on one of your knees and with the opposite elbow, come up across and touch the ball with that elbow. With the free arm, reach up, with the free leg, lengthen. Now don't just focus on the ball um, that's pushing into the elbow. Pull the knee towards it and you'll really engage. Without putting the ball in your hands, switch sides. Switch sides. So this is a variation of the crisscross. My head and shoulders are elevated with my chin a little forward. Really pull the leg into the ball. One more on each side. Last one here. Bring the ball to center, release the shoulders. Come up with the ball over the top of your legs and drop the chin forward as if you're trying to look down at your belly button. Take the ball into one hand and it Take the legs, extend. As you transfer, put it underneath the legs and lower. Do that again. Kick up, lower, kick up. Pay attention to the hand on the ball. Reverse that hand goes down now. Open. Be careful not to lower the legs too low that your back arches. One more time. Bring the knees to center, release the head and shoulders. Shake the tension out of your neck. You'll notice a lot of these series of five moves do not support the head. So it's really important that you bring your chin into a place where you can relax your neck. Single straight leg stretch. Bring the ball into one hand and lift up. Extend the other leg forward. Now you're not gonna come all the way down. You're gonna bring the ball from the outside, open just a little. Open just a little. So it's coming around the outside of the leg as you pull a knee into chest, into chest. Pause for a second. Get the length of the bottom leg. Only lower just a little to transition. And release. Take the ball above your head. This time take the right leg high and the left leg low. Come up and touch the front of the right leg. Now the chin needs to come up and forward. As you scissor the legs, the ball goes over the head. Scissor, and you'll come up to the right leg every time. Lengthen, lift, lengthen, lift. Last one, lengthen and lift. Bring the knees to chest, ball overhead. 
This time take the left leg high and the right leg long. Come up and touch the left leg. Scissor, open, scissor, come up. Scissor, open, scissor, come up. Two more. Open, lift, one more time, and lift. Bring the head and torso down, bring the ball to center, extend your legs, place the ball in your lower leg, hands behind head, elevate shoulders. Bring the knees to the chest, extend the legs. So shoulders are up, push the legs forward only to where you can keep your back long. Knees come in, focus the powerhouse, the rib cage interlocked, the belly pulls in and lift. So that means that you don't take the legs so low. That's okay. And up, pull the knees in, extend, push forward, lift up. Release your shoulders and your knees. Lift back up with the shoulders and extend the legs. Squeeze the ball, three, two, one, push forward, three, two, one, pull up. Three, two, one, push forward. This doesn't need to be low. You wanna keep the rib cage interlocked. One more time. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, pull in, take a rest. Place the ball in the hands for another variation of the crisscross. So we've done all four exercises in there, as well as some variations of them. Place the ball in the hands. Keep one knee into the chest, extend the other leg, and as you pull your body up, cross the elbow into the knee with the ball over the head, elbow soft. Switch sides, switch sides, switch sides, switch sides. Now this is gonna take you very smoothly into a transition. The ball coming under the leg from the inside, inside inside, which will continue to rotate the crisscross. Four, three, two, one. Bring the ball into the chest. Take the ball between the legs, squeeze, bring the hands to your side. Elevate the shoulders and the head. See how high you get your shoulders in reach. Drop the chin as if you're looking down. Pump the hands giving you variations of intensity on this one. Knees to chest is the easiest position. Start to push the toes a little more forward as you notice your knees lining up with your hip bones. Keep looking down at your belly button, breathe. A little further forward with your toes if you feel like you can. Breathe, keep pumping with a tight hand so you can go a little further on your toes. If not, keep it where it is. Keep breathing, keep the powerhouse engaged. See how long and straight you can make your legs now. Breathe in four, three, two, bring it in. Take the ball from your legs, roll over onto your tummy. So we just did a whole lot of the oppositional muscle at the back. Take the ball and place it in your right hand and reach forward. Reach the other arm forward too, and just keep your neck neutral. So you don't need to take the head all the way down or all the way up, just somewhere where the back of the neck feels long. In opposition, if your hand has, the, the right hand has the ball, take your left leg up and down. Just the leg, extending it, working from the back of the leg, the glutes into the low back. Now start slowly and add the arm that has the ball. Arm that has the ball. So if you think of a sit up, when we're on our backs and we crunch into the tummy, this is the oppositional type move for the back. When you lift your arm and your leg, you're contracting into your back muscle. Okay, the next one, take the arm and leg up, hold, open to opposite sides, come back to center, release down. Lift, open to side, center, come down. Lift, open to side, center, come down. One more time and place the ball in the opposite hand. Remember in opposition, take the leg up and down. So the leg that doesn't have the ball, or the hand that has the ball, opposite from the hand on the ball. Neck is neutral, nice and long. Focus on the detail of that move. 
Now add the arm with the ball. So we don't want a lot of momentum. We don't want it to be sloppy and fast. Every move needs to be well thought out, well executed with precise detail and control. This time, take the arm up and leg up, open to the side. Feel the range of motion before you rush back to center and down. Three more times, lift. Feel the lift, feel the reach. Back to center before you release to floor. Two more times, lift. Open, center, come back down one more time, lift up, open, come back to center, come back down. Bring the hands to the ball and bring your knees up underneath you. Stretch through your back. From here, slide the ball to the back of one of your knees. Now, if this doesn't work for your ball, you can do this move without a ball. If the ball is too tight or doesn't fit in there, take the leg and lift up with the knee and then elevate the chin. From here, very simple, lift your toe up and down. So this is gonna activate the back of the leg into the hamstring pretty tight. Long neck, push the floor away with your arms and hands. Now open the knee to the side. Open, close, open. Notice the stable muscles. The arms are stable. The bottom leg is stable. The pelvis and the head is stable. In a circle, take the leg out, around, down. So it comes a little more forward, open, around. This is really nice, healthy movement for the hip socket that tends to get really tight. Reverse the range of motion. So it goes back, up and over, back, up and over. And I can feel that not only in the hip and the hamstring, but in the oblique muscle on that side, that waistline. Now from here, keep the leg up, take the opposite hand and off the floor, reach forward. Do not change the leg, just reach back as if you're trying to touch the foot and reach back forward. Focus on balance and stability and reach forward and pull back and reach forward. One more time, that hamstring is working and bring the arm and leg down. Transition the ball to the other side. You may need to stretch out that hamstring on that leg. As you come down, place the ball now in the back of the knee. And again, these moves can be done without the ball if the ball doesn't work or fit back there. Place your hand to the floor long neck and take the knee off the ground. Now just simply lift and lower the toe. Again, it's not about speed or momentum or a lot of repetition. In fact, in Pilates, I try to focus on somewhere between four to eight repetitions of a move and really do it well enough that you don't need any more. Hold there, open the knee to the side and come back down. Open the knee to the side, come back down. Open the knee to the side, come back down. One more, so that's four repetitions. Now circle forward, up, over, and back in. Forward, up, over, and back in. Feel how that's affecting the muscles in the side of the body. Reverse the circles, there's four circles. One. Keep squeezing the ball so it doesn't fall out of your leg. And if it does, you can continue without the ball. Okay, there's four circles. Squeeze the ball. Take the opposite hand of the leg that has the ball up. Reach forward. Without moving the leg, reach back and try to touch your foot. Now, by twisting the torso and turning the head, it increases the intensity of the balance. Reach back. Keep squeezing the ball. And we've got one more. Reach back and reach forward. Release the ball. If that leg's tight, just take a little stretch. Almost done. A couple more moves. Place the ball between the two legs and push into the adductors or the inner thighs. Hands, head. So you never want to add extra weight or cut off the airway. Tuck the toes and find the abdominal muscles right underneath your belly button. 
pull the knees up and touch down gently. Pull the knees up, touch down gently. Not only are we working the low tummy and the arms, but of course the inner thighs. On the next one, come up and press the ball four times. One, two, three, four. Touch and come up and press. Four, three, two, one. Touch, come up. Two more times. Two, three, four. Touch, one more. Press, two, three, four. Touch, release. Place the ball now underneath your right hand. You will be doing some plank work. You have options of putting a knee down and you also have the option of not using the ball. By using the ball, it makes this arm unstable and it's just a little more load into the arm that's on the floor. So be aware of that. And if it's too much for you, then just don't use the ball. Place the ball, keep the knee down, take one foot back the opposite leg and then engage the tummy and come up onto two feet. Now again, if that's too much, keep the knee down. Lift the back foot, the opposite foot is the ball that has the hand, and pull the knee forward. Swing under, out, center, kick back. Pull center, swing, swing, center, kick back. Pull, swing under, open, center, kick back. One more time, knee to chest, under, out, center, kick back, hold, kick your leg outward, 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 one more, bring it in and rest. Ooh, that's some really good upper body work. And by challenging the upper body, it should distribute the work into the core muscles, legs, and feel like you've just worked the whole body. This is our last move today. Place it under the opposite hand, hand in. Start there. If that's where you need to stay, that's okay, or don't use the ball at all. If you're up for that next challenge, both legs. Opposite leg comes off. Pull into the chest, swing under, swing out, center, kick back. Pull into the chest, swing under, swing out, center, kick back. Remember, I try to do four to eight. We're doing four of these, and that should feel like plenty. That's the third one. You should be anxious to be done. Pull in, swing under, open, center, kick back. Now side kick. One, two, three, one more, four, bring it in and place the ball in your hands as you pull your hips back, release your head. Take some deep breaths here as you feel your breathing go into the back. With both hands on the ball, reach to one side of the mat and pull back with the opposite hip. And switch sides. And bring it back to middle. Take the ball behind your back and just open the chest, lengthen the arms, lift the chin, breathe. Nothing like a good Pilates workout every single day to identify the muscles, make you aware of how you use them throughout your day and keep them strong, release. From here, come into a seated straddle, big wide straddle as much as you can and just take the ball up over the top. Reach into a forward diagonal. Take the arm up, turn the head up, look at it, let it fall back just enough to feel the stretch of the shoulder. And lift up. Take the ball into the other hand, bring it over into the side stretch. Pilates is a great functional workout. If 
Functionality means it uses multiple muscles at the same time. Pays attention to the core muscles, which is from the neck to the knees. In movement that allows you to be better at all the other activities you do throughout your day. Lift up. Bring the ball now to the feet as you open up your knees and let the forehead come down. Push the chest down to the ball, lifting the chin. Extend up and reach forward with your feet. Roll the ball down to the ends of your feet, toes. Put some pressure as you stretch the arches of your feet, the ankles, the hamstrings, and the back. Roll the ball a little closer to you. Push your hands down onto it. The elbows can drop towards the thighs. And the chest is now elevated with a little more straightness of the back. Turning to your side, place the ball in the underarm so that the free hand can grab hold of the leg and pull back with your ankle stretching through quadricep. And switch sides. back to the middle. Cross one leg over the other. If that's too much for me. This leg can also be straight. And then take the ball and wrap it around. Come back to the middle and switch the legs. The ball comes around the front leg, rotates and just put the other hand on the ball as you twist. This one, you want to sit up nice and tall and you'll feel a great stretch in the glutes. Bring the legs back to where you're comfortable and the ball to center. Take some deep breaths. Exhale. One more deep breath. And exhale. Thanks so much for joining me today with the Ball Pilates workout. Check out some of the other workouts on Fitness with Jen Allen, and I hope you're staying healthy and strong. Thanks for joining me today.